Welcome to part number 8 of Gran Turismo 5 B-Spec. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're going to get some PTSD, some bad PTSD like Plug King says, because we're going to do the NRA Roadster Cup. Now we're going to go to the used car dealership and see what we can find. Can we find a Roadster here? Ooh. I want this so bad, but I don't have enough money or the, enough uh, level XP to do to do so. Well, Ooh, an MX-5 Miata for 9,000. Yeah, let's get the MX-5 Miata. Wait, there's an 11,000. PS3? Yes, this is Gran Turismo 5. Okay, that is a steal. <laughs> God damn, this music. <laughs> Dude, this music is like that moment when, you, when you're looking for a Formula GT and you can't even find one. Just to complete the damn game. That's why this game pisses me off so much. Because it's like, dude... Why do I have to get a Formula GT in a used car dealership? As far as I know, only standard cars and UCD, right? The regular dealership is premium. Yes, sir. That is true. And that's why the Formula GT is in the used car dealership, which makes no sense whatsoever. Ooh, I got horn number 236. So those who um, watch this live on YouTube, you guys know the drill about the music for the GT Auto. So yeah. It's used from your other self in the alternative universe GT4. <laughs> I guess that's true, but it's a formula car. Like, Do you not play with cheats? No, sir. No cheats on my end. I like to do everything legitly. Yeah, you think it'd be premium, well, semi-premium GT6, but there you can get it from a regular dealership. Yeah, dude. I mean, like, why? Like, honestly, like, I, I don't know. If it's like, you know, if you're going to have a Formula Championship, why not have the um, Ferrari, the Ferrari F1 cars, you know? Like, that would make a lot more sense, in my opinion. Eh, let's go with the mid-range turbo kit. Yes, I do. I do have that DLC. So, I want to tune this thing up to about 400 performance points. And then, I think we'll be okay from there. Oh my god, it's the same amount of horsepower and it's way cheaper to do the catalytic converter. So just for safe safety measures, I guess. Um nope, wrong menu. Let's buy a clutch. Sports flywheel. And last but not least, tires. I honestly think Special Stage Route X should be a mainstay in all future GT games. It's basically a better test course. Yeah, I agree with that 100%. So here it is, NRA Roadsters Cup. Yep, sport hard tires, and Kobayashi's going to be put to the test for this one. Level 6 race, level 7 driver. He should have no problems with this. At least I don't think so. As you can see, one race at Sakuba Circuit to decide who is the better Roadster driver. Nice! No NC MX-5s in here. Purely all NAs or NBs. That's awesome. Yeah, exactly. His home race, home country, but it's not a Toyota he's driving. What's up? Woke up now and decided to take a look at the Super GT Reddit, and the same Miku hater decides to have a picture of a Miku core crashing like Dale Sr. 
You feel me now? Oh my god, dude. Well, Kamui lost the race, but I'm not upset with him because he actually did a really good job. Like, his performance was really good. So I used the extra money and bought him a semi-racing exhaust. Maybe that can give him a little bit more power on the backstretch, but yeah, he had a really good run. Alright, come on. So just maintain that pace. Better than my bad beast pick drivers? Dude, DSF, you've missed out on like quite a bit of the streams these past couple days, dude. I have S Flynn and D Maldonado. They are horrible, dude. Dude, they started off so bad. But Kobayashi's starting off so well. The other day I found an abandoned 2017 MX-5. Nice! Oh, oh! Oh, an abandoned! Oh, I just read that now. Out loud. Dude, Maldonado was... Oh. Maldonado was garbage, dude. <laughs> it was so bad. So, so bad. Outside pass, Kamui? Damn, bro, look at you go. Damn, Mel I mean, Kobayashi. Damn, bro. Dude, look at Kamui go, dude. Dude, this man. Oh my god, look at him go. Dude, I think that second place boosted his confidence big time. If anyone, if I'm gonna fire anybody, it might be Maldonado, but um, yeah, I would need to, you know, I'm gonna, that's the thing. Obviously, I'm not doing these races in order. My plan is to do the beginner races, like, I think that's my new strategy now, so hear me out, guys. Since I did that supercar festival, like, money grinding with Kobayashi, his level gone up, right? So he's able to do some of the lower events, so that way I can develop the smaller guys in the amateur and beginner leagues, while I can develop Flynn in the actual progression, you know, like, in the extreme events, expert, etc., etc. So that way I can build these guys up and make them really good for the endurances. Dude, look at him. I mean, that's fine, Plepking. That is fine because, I mean, you know, I can just get them to do the beginner events anyways. You know what I mean? Like, not everyone's going to be level 25 by the time you get to the endurances. You know what I mean? Not everyone's going to be the highest level. They're all going to be like level 10, 15, 20. And Flynn is obviously the lead driver of the entire field. I had a level 24 lose against my friends that were level 20. Good lord. What's his name? Flynn or Maldonado? Beast Pick along would be super cool. Yeah, they had that for GT5, but... But, I mean, unfortunately, dude, they need to bring that back for sport. Like, uh, imagine if we had that for sport. That would be so awesome. It was called the remote race? Yeah, basically because it was a NASCAR race, so my Beast Pick driver some words stay out of ovals. <laughs> and look at that. Del Valle is nowhere near the front. Dude's running in P6 now. Kobayashi's going and kicking everyone's ass right now. It was only you commanding. 
Also, just finished our racing evolution yesterday. Nice, dude. Nice, brother. I want to, dude. I cannot wait till I play our racing evolution. I need to fix my Xbox, though. Like, I need to give my Xbox a brand new hard drive. So that way I can save all my games on, on the hard drive. Because I, I have a soft modded Xbox. So, I want to replace the hard drive first. Because obviously, 8 gigabytes is not a lot. Customizable with AI would be insane. Especially when you can tune breaking points and aggression. Dude, imagine that. Imagine, like, the, um... Like the Amiibos from Super Smash Bros. for Wii U or Ultimate now because they're going to be included in there. Imagine like Amiibos but for like Gran Turismo where like they learn your pattern, they learn your driving style. Dude, that would be so cool. Like that would be the best thing Polyphony would ever do, honestly. And that's saying a lot. Like imagine you can, you can teach your drivers our plot's evolution. <laughs> <laughs> GT meets Nintendo oh dude I mean something like that I guess like imagine an amiibo with your um, with your uh, driver <laughs> the driver tars or whatever they're called I think oh okay oh that's right I forgot all about the driver tars I thought the driver tars were just for your username to appear in other people's consoles or something Polyphony releases 200 miniatures of every single car in GT Sport. That would be pretty cool. Dude, Kobayashi is just like, I'm chilling. Kobayashi is like not even phased right now. He's leading, commanding the field. <laughs> Look at this MX-5. Marchand, he's just all the way back here. Pretty much the Max Chilton of this entire race. <laughs> and before the GT Sport drivers in Smash. Oh my god, imagine. Can't wait till F1 2018 comes out. We'll be recording the entire season. Nice. Can't wait to see that, dude. It'd be pretty cool, but no money, says the guy who owns every single fucking amiibo. <laughs> you know, I used to own every single amiibo, but then... Here's the thing. Two things. Number one... Or three things, actually. Number one, I've never really been big into collecting figures. Number two, I don't really have room for them. And number three, I put them on top of my bed's, uh, my bed frame. But then I ended up looking at it, and I'm like, dude, my bed looks like Chris Chan's bed. So I just got rid of them at that point. And that's kind of a dumb reason, but mainly number one and two is what it is. Like, I wasn't really big on collecting figures. But I didn't really have room for them. Would GT Sports Final Smash be a punt? Yeah, it, it would just be like a, like a Brazilian-style accident, pretty much. They'll put you in the they'll put you in the middle of a course and they'll pretty much just like not even make the corner. <laughs> Driver's final smashes SR down simple attacking everyone. <laughs> everyone gets a 10 second penalty. So your driver get or your player gets stuck for 10 seconds. Alright, Kobayashi's relaxing a little bit too much. So are we. So let's get back on the grind and get him to start picking up the pace a little bit more. Lopez is coming in hot. Oh, he's like cool right now. He's like in the middle. He's warm. Kobayashi's pretty cool, so we're gonna have him pick up the pace a little bit more. A rain of dirty beetles. Group 3. Yeah, kind of like Captain Falcon's Final Smash. Like, a car comes out and like runs their character over, and then they get put in the middle of Blue Moon Bay Speedway. And then just a bunch of Brazilian players like coming in and crashing into them. Smash also included a new assist trip that comes with G Sport penalty 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah, Mikhail, what's with Beetle drivers, dude? Like, dude, I've never played with any Beetle drivers. Everyone's either driving the Porsche or like the SL or the AMG GT3. Now nah, everyone's driving the 4 GT from what I hear. Mesa is in third. Lopez. Okay, he's starting to pull away from Lopez, so that's good. This is such the best idea ever. <laughs> I'm a Beetle driver. Oh, you are? I drive a Beetle Manufacturers Cup. Almost never see Beetle drivers. Yeah, dude, I, Beetles never appear. I never see them at all. So I'm just wondering, like, where do you get that idea? Oh, are they? How good are they on Blue Moon? Dude, Marchand is... Jesus Christ, Max Chilton in the house right here. 
Dude, he's so slow. Most dirty drivers in those lobbies use the beetle a lot, especially at Blue Moon. Ah. Huh. Never knew that. All I know is they outran my R35 by miles. Jesus Christ. The beetle drivers are an ex extinction or an extinction species. <laughs> <laughs> Mikhail's like one of the last few so is Abstract Sky. Very fast and better to hold on after hits. Yeah, it's true. They have less top speed, but the acceleration is insane. Oh. I mean, I got a Beetle for my birthday. I remember that, but I was like, why do I want this? All right, Kobayashi, just maintain the pace. You have a huge, huge lead. Beetle's the only Group 3 car I'm adapted to driving with manual and no TC. Oh, really? I mean, I've driven so many cars in sim games that, like, I can pretty much drive almost anything. Well, almost anything. Stock cars are, like, oval racing on stock cars and iRacing is an exception. I still suck so much on them. I actually stopped using that car after I was bored. Oh yeah, I got a Veyron for my birthday. Oh my god, dude. And that's your favorite car. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's so lucky of you. 111.5. New fastest lap for Kobayashi. Dude, Kobayashi's three seconds faster than this guy's best lap. Actually, no. He's about a second faster. Del Valle is still the fastest guy on... Or the second fastest guy on track. But he's not really doing anything. Like, he's nowhere in this race. Using the BMW Z4 Group 3 now is my dirty and clean main. Oh, nice. I know someone else who uses it. ZK716 uses the uh, Z4. But Kobayashi right now maintaining that lead. All right, now he can cool down the pace. I just need him to bring it home and win the NRA Roadster Cup. I got a GT Show Mustang for my birthday or something like that. Nice, dude. Guys, I think we have a new star in the making. Kobayashi in his second race. He hasn't crashed once. He hasn't spun out once. He has done nothing like that in his two races with us because this is technically his second race, but yes, brand new star in the making, boys. Kamui Kobayashi wins the NRA Roadster Cup at Tsukuba. I would use the 4GT, especially in GT4 LM style livery, but too many people use it. It's being really good. Don't play sport that much. As much as I love GT Sport, I do sometimes miss all the features. GT3, 4, 5, 6 had me too, dude. Like GT, GT Sport is not a main entry into the series. So that's why I don't really treat it as such. I don't really uh, classify it as 7. It's just sport. It's the online game. I don't have a group 4 main since they all got BOP'd. Yeah, I mean, group 4 is not fun. It's It would be fun if the balance was way better. So many cars are so imbalanced that it's so ridiculous, dude. But anyways, what do we win for winning the NRA Roadster Cup? No freaking way! Are you serious? We win a Mazda Ferrari! Are you shitting me? Holy crap! Dude, look at that thing! Dude, we win an LMP car, like an LMP concept car, early on in the game, like in the amateur division. Dude, this thing's a beast. Look at it. Oh my god. The hype is real. <laughs> Hope it doesn't burn. Yeah, that's true. From the ashes of his death at Top Gear, here comes that Mazda. Yep, risen from the dead. Now in our garage. Oh boy. Now my group 4 car is the Hurricane. Thanks PD for making the MR cars good to drive. 
maybe it's for the uh, maybe it's like that for people who actually bother to do B spec. Oh, that's true. Maybe it's like now it's risen like a phoenix. Yeah, it stands alone. I seriously love all the features, how smooth and well it made, and well made it feels. But the old GTs have some awesome features actually. Yeah, exactly, dude. Odd how it's standard in a PSP model though. Yes, it is a PSP model. However, it's a free ride, dude. Like, it's a Mazda Fury. I cannot complain. So guys, next up on Gran Turismo 5 B spec, we're gonna be doing the Japanese 90s challenge once again. We're gonna do a tet number two with the good old Toyota MR2, so stay tuned for that. Yeah. 